welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new here, my name is Aduke from Miss Dukes underscore XO over on Instagram. Please go and check me out. So in today's video, you probably guessed it from the title and the thumbnail, yes, it's another Primark video. So if this is the kind of video that you want to see, please keep watching. since I've actually sat down and filmed a video or even uploaded a video I just felt like I needed a little break so I am back sat down for you with this video do you know what guys standing up to film videos now I am probably considered heavily pregnant I'm 32 weeks today um it's it's a lot so I'm sat down for this one now I've got to confess I did actually go to Primark twice for these items because on the first occasion I went to Primark in London and not gonna lie guys it was a really disappointing I went to Primark purely for summer dresses the weather is getting nicer I just didn't get it they didn't have any summer dresses at all so I was left feeling really disappointed still somehow managed to spend over a hundred pounds but I was not happy with my purchases so I left it a week and I went back to Primark yesterday I went to the Cambridge Primark so I saw Aisha and Zellia's vlog and their Primark just looked so much better than the one I went to I took a trip to Cambridge Primark which is only about half an hour from my house um, and yes I was pleasantly surprised so I'm going to show you everything that I've got now it's a lot guys so get a cup of tea relax and I'll show you what I've got okay so I do have quite a variety of items here I'm gonna start off with the clothes and now I'm gonna go to the accessories so I'm gonna start off with what I'm wearing what I wanted from my Primark experience I guess you could say I just wanted something that I could wear during pregnancy but also after pregnancy as well I am 32 weeks today so I do only have approximately eight weeks till my due date so I just wanted to something that I could just that's stretchy but will fit let me just quickly show you so this is my belly and this is where the top kind of stops which I really like it's a quite a frilly top um, at the bottom I quite like the patterns I'm not really a floral person but um, yeah I just really like the length of it I think it's flattering for the bump so I got this in an extra large and it was six pounds. The next item now I believe comes as a co-ord and I've seen it on everyone's Primark hauls. Everyone seems to have had this, but in like um, a green color. But I just got the black and white version and it is this crop top. And it does actually come with shorts as well, but I didn't want the shorts. They're not gonna work for me during pregnancy. and. If I'm honest, I'm probably not going to wear the shorts after pregnancy either. Just like whilst, you know, the stomach's still going down and everything. And it's going to be summer, but I just don't know how long it's going to take for me to kind of get back to somewhat what I was pre-pregnancy. So I just didn't bother with the, um, the shorts. I just didn't think they would really work for me. So yes, I've got this crop top I do actually quite like a crop top during pregnancy if you've checked out my um, Instagram or if you have seen my Instagram you'll see that I do quite like to wear a crop top with like a skirt or leggings or something like that I just think it's quite flattering for the bump because it doesn't hide the bump it allows you to actually see the bump and I just think that's really nice it just doesn't look frumpy I got this in um, this is a bit unclear hangout says it's an extra small which is not the actual tag says it's a 16 but the label says it's an 18 so I haven't tried this on yet so hopefully when I try this on you'll, you'll see the clips um, it actually looks quite nice and I felt like this would look nice as well post pregnancy as well so yeah now I know I just said that I don't really like floral things and this next item is quite florally and I specifically got this I think for post pregnancy because I don't think I'm about to wear this whilst I'm quite heavily pregnant. I got this 
play suit which I actually think even though I'm not into the floral thing I was actually quite drawn to this floral kind of pattern it's quite big and bold floral sort of leaves not those kind of small ones that's dotted all around an item which I think is why I was drawn to this one I do love a play suit I like a play suit when I'm not pregnant um I haven't obviously tried this on yet I'm interested to see what it will look like whilst pregnant and I'm probably not going to wear it pregnant I'm not gonna lie but you never know it might look nice I got this in an 18 um I've got to admit guys being pregnant and trying to find clothes um for kind of post pregnancy but but during pregnancy as well it's quite hard to figure out what your sizing is I, none of these things are maternity by the way i know primark have started doing a parenthood range in their certain primark stores but the one i went to didn't have that or the two that i went to didn't have that and um, so it's not maternity so i'm going to be interested to see how this fits so then in the london um primark i did just pick up a few basic tees um so this one here is just this green one it's got collect beautiful moments and i think i actually got it for the <laughs> print and not the actual t-shirt but it's a cute t-shirt i love the color of it i think these kind of t-shirts are quite flattering i got this one in a size large and it was six pounds oh i forgot to tell the prices this play suit was seven pounds and this top was eight pounds not sure how much the bottoms were but i think that's quite expensive for a top to be quite honest a crop top anyway yeah so this t-shirt pretty basic would look really nice with leggings or jeans or maternity jeans or cycling shorts so yeah i think that's gonna look really nice i did also get another t-shirt and i feel like everything in my wardrobe is just knitwear <laughs> so i just needed some basic t-shirts so this is another one that i got i wanted it to be quite oversized and i don't actually think it is going to be because i got a 14 to 16 which is a large but obviously with my bump and everything it's not going to be oversized i'm going to try this on and see what it looks like but um six pounds just a chill and repeat print can't really go wrong really i did get another basic t-shirt which i have already worn i'm going to insert a clip here and you'll see on my instagram as well but i really like this one again it's got that kind of um slit at the bottom of the t-shirt makes it fit really nice the sleeves are folded here and i like the fact that it's actually a v-neck as well so i've got this one in a large and this was six pounds so prime up do their basic t-shirts and stuff really really well so the last item i got from the london store was this really really nice um skirt i'm really loving skirts at the moment i just think pairing them with like a nice short um, crop top or just any kind of t-shirt at the moment during pregnancy just is really flattering and just really flowy and when i'm feeling like really hot all the time skirts like this are really the one i really love the color i was really drawn to the color i know my sister said that she didn't like the color but i was really drawn to this sort of color and i think it not look nice with my skin color i think it will so yeah i really like this it's quite long as well and it's got a drawstring that actually works um, i got this one in a 16 i think that was the biggest that they had but i felt like it was quite stretchy and quite flowy so i thought that that would be all right just to put over the bump and it will just it will be fine so that's all the clothing items that i got from the london store so i'm just going to show you now all the clothing items that i got from the cambridge store and then i will move on to the accessories one of the first things that i noticed about the cambridge store it's huge it's got about three floors and they all expand greatly it's a big big primark so i'm really quite glad i went there the queue was insane i ended up being in the queue though for about 15 minutes so it wasn't actually too bad so quite impressed with that i think i was in the queue to pay a lot longer than i was queuing to get into the actual shop first item that i got is this broderie anglais t-shirt you can see the pattern there i really quite like broderie anglais so i really liked the size of this neckline um and i feel like it's gonna make it easy to get over my head it's not gonna get on my makeup and I really like the sleeves it's kind of like a puff sleeve and they're stretchy as well there's nothing worse than having sleeves like this and they don't 
stretch to get over your arms like not everyone's arms are the same size i got this one in an oh, 18 to 20 so it's an extra large and it's quite short i think as well so i think it's probably about the same length as the one that i have on i think it will look nice around the bum or even still just in nice weather it's just gonna suit really well hopefully the next i just got a really long basic t-shirt now when i was in the london store i was looking for one of these they just had the shorter version but i wanted the long one the short one kind of stops around here i wanted the longer version i actually have one of these in like a coral color i just wanted more i should have picked up more really it was only three pounds fifty so why didn't I pick up more? I always I always want these and I really really like them. They they only have them I think in a black, white and the coral colour. So I picked up a black because you can't really go wrong with black can you? And I thought this might be quite nice as well for when I'm in hospital, when I'm giving birth to a baby girl. If I have to spend an extended period of time in hospital, I think it's just really nice. They're so comfortable. They're really, really comfortable. And I got this in an 18 to 20, so it should be stretchy over the bump. Um, so, yeah, and it's always just good to, like, pair, just to be around the house in. Or I, I go out in these as well, so. <laughs> With some leggings, it's perfect. It's fine. Okay, so now we are moving on to the dresses. This is what I went to Primark for. Oh my God. And they had an abundance of dresses. Um, so the next item that I got, I actually really, really love this one. I love the colour. It's this um, pinky kind of coverly colour. It's got these button detail at the front, but they're not real buttons, which is fine for me. And it's quite flowy and lovely. And I think that this is going to be really, really nice in the summer. And this is the kind of thing that I wanted. I got this in a 16. Um, I felt like it should be fine for a 16 because it's quite a flowy dress. I actually originally picked up one in like a cream colour um, and they only had like a size 20. And I picked that one up initially and I just feel like that would have been too big especially if i want to wear this in the summer after i've had baby girl so i feel i just feel like this would be much more appropriate so hopefully this looks nice so yeah i got this in the 16 and this was 13 pounds and i just think this is exactly what i wanted from my trip to primark next thing i picked up i just really really love this on the hanger i just thought it looked so so nice but it's this dress i think it's kind of like a is it paisley not sure but the colour I just think the colour is just so lovely with this detail this orange detail going through it I just thought it was so so lovely but they only had it in a size 20 which is fine it will be it will be fine for me but might be a bit big oh it's not even a dress oh my god it's not even a dress it's um it's a jumpsuit yeah it's not even a dress it's a jumpsuit how silly i didn't even realize that i'm not sure if i realized that or not but um yeah oh lovely i really like that maybe actually having a size 20 will actually work quite well for me especially with bump and that was 13 pounds then the next dress i bought i'm seeing is all over youtube and instagram as well is one of these it's like a gingham style dress now a bit unsure about this but i think should be quite nice it's a gingham style it's stretchy at the bust and then it's flowy further down and then you've got like this little smock section at the bottom and it, it almost reminds me of what does it remind me of like a bavarian style with, like with these sleeves if, if this was white and this was like a bavarian this, is anyone getting what i'm saying no okay just me i think this is going to be really pretty um for the summer or even now like today is really really hot guys i got this in an 18 again this one was 15 pounds so i think that's going to be really nice so that was the last dress that i bought the next thing i got was in the sale now i think this was a little bit of an impulse buy that like, i really liked it on the hanger and now i'm looking at it i'm not so sure it's this kind of cropped check squared it's almost like a knitted feel crop top 
Now, I'm not sure what I'd wear it with. Maybe leggings or cycling shorts or something. But I just thought it was quite interesting. Um, probably post-pregnancy rather than now. Um, I got this in the large and it was in the sale. It was £4 down from £8. It was half price. I think I thought for four pounds. Do you know what? I would find a way of wearing this, and I would find something to wear it with. Do you know what I mean? And then last clothing item from the came. I keep going to say from the Primark store. Of course, it's the Primark store at Duke. And um, the last item that I got from the Cambridge Primark store was just your basic leggings. Now, who doesn't go to Primark and pick up a pair of leggings? Because I tell you what. Every time I go to Primark, I need to pick up a pair of leggings. These ones are actually slightly different. They've got quite a wide waistband. You can see that there. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that, and they feel quite thick as well and quite nice. So I don't think they're going to be see-through. But I'm hoping that they will, it, this will come over my bump. Um, because some of my Primark leggings that I have at the moment, they're kind of coming halfway now. Like as the bump gets bigger, uh, they're kind of coming halfway and I want it to be, over the bump so we'll see i got this one in, in an extra large and it was four pounds so i'll give them a go and, and see if not it doesn't matter post pregnancy will be fine that's all the clothing items that i got guys um what should we move on to next i did also get some more of these wireless bras which seem to be so so popular at the moment i do have some already um but i just wanted a few more and they were 10 pounds yeah, always have to pick up some of them. I'm loving wireless bars at the moment. They're just a godsend, I've got to say. So, yeah. Also picked up just some more underwear. I've got the full brief ones. I picked up two packs of these, actually. Just the plain black one and then these patterned ones in extra large. And they are £3.50. I also got this... Um, kind of like a makeup toiletry bag really really love this i thought the style was really nice it's cream and it's got this gold detailing around the front and it also has a pouch and a little hanger it's got on the front less is more i think they had a range of things in there that had this same sort of style and pattern i just thought this was really really nice even just going on holiday it's got like the little handle here and this was five pounds so then the next thing I bought a couple of bags so I bought this one I was really really drawn to the color of this one um, I really liked what it looked like inside it's got a couple of pouches and it is, even has a strap as well so you can have it crossbody but I really like it and I really love the feel of it as well and this plaited detail of the handle I just absolutely love it I just think it's really really nice not sure when I'm gonna use it or if these little bags are even that appropriate when you have a baby i don't know but i really liked it next bag item that i got i just really really love this and i don't know how appropriate it's going to be or if it's even going to fit definitely not whilst i'm pregnant but i got this bum bag don't you just love it it's almost like a crocodile print it'll probably just about be able to fit my phone in <laughs> And maybe a purse speaking of which i picked up this purse as well so that i think would slot in there really quite nicely so phone and this purse is all i'm gonna get in this bum bag but never know do you know what for a when i've got the baby and i'm going to the park or something bum bag baby will have his own change bag in the pram me with my bum bag phone and purse what more can you ask for this bum bag was six pounds and the purse was two pounds so then i bought these shoes i actually copied my sister she picked them up and i really quite like them and i'm all for shoes i can just slot my feet into these days so these shoes are really really nice they were size six and i got them in a size eight i did also pick up some flip-flops for my hospital bag obviously i had to get them in purple i just wouldn't want to be walking around the hospital with no shoes on or when i go for a shower these are going to come in so handy so pick some of them up they were 90p you can't really go wrong for that last few items i did pick up these earrings three pounds i just love the style of them i love the fact that they've got this kind of stud 
um, area here for a second hole and then just these pretty detailed ones for the first hole so yeah I think that was really really nice and then I got this which is a soap dish and actually my sister was going to pick this up but she didn't want it in the end so I picked it up and I thought this would be really useful for uh, to put my jewellery in and my earrings and stuff in so I just really love the marble effect as well this one was three pounds it's probably it's quite expensive but yeah I really really liked it and I'm gonna put my jewellery in there then I also grabbed these sunglasses which fun fact I bought these same pair twice last year broke them twice and I just loved them so much that I just thought I had to get a third pair and promise to not break them so so far so good I did wear them yesterday but I just love them like, look at them they're just so cute I, I mean I just love the, the cat eye effect yeah I love it love the color they did actually have these in black as well in the Cambridge one but yeah, I'm gonna really try my best not to break these. I think these were three pounds if I remember correctly. I've taken all the tags and stuff on, off now. I also grabbed a water bottle because the two that I have got, they're just dying a death. Like they're literally not working for me anymore. So I picked this one up. Really like the rubber effect around here. It just, you can just hold it effectively. The straw actually works. And yes, this will be really handy during labour because everyone says to have a bottle of water with a straw. So you don't have to like tip it back and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's going to be really handy. Hopefully that will last until June. Not entirely sure how much the bottle was. It could have been more than a couple of quid. I also grabbed this cotton wool holder. I have already put cotton wool in it. As you can see, it doesn't quite fit all of my cotton wool in but really really love this this was I think it was about two pounds maybe three um but yeah I just thought it was quite nice to put my cotton wool in have it on the side in the bathroom so yeah then the last thing I got I didn't actually get anything for the baby because time was not on my side I had a quick look um, in the baby section but for me I feel like I need to spend time looking at baby bits and baby items and also I've got a whole bunch of clothes just behind me and I need to sort them out to see what sizes and stuff that I've got and what I still need to get so I didn't really want to pick up any like vests or anything like that um, but I didn't want to pick up anything just like on the whim you know I wanted to like have a look and see you know just time was not on my side I had to go so yeah didn't pick up anything for the baby however i did get her a hospital bag and this is what i picked up for her it's actually got disney uh mickey and minnie all over it just all over it and i actually just thought it was really cute i felt like it's a good size hold all that will fit all of her stuff in once i've packed everything and i liked these kind of pouches here at the front not really sure what I could put in there, but I'm sure I'll find something to put in there. I thought it was just a really good size. There's a pouch in the inside as well. It was £18, which I did find to be a little pricey. But do you know what? It's Disney. But also it's got, I've just noticed, it's got these strap as well. So you can obviously have it around your shoulder. I'm clearly not going to be carrying it during labour but I just thought that was really cute and yeah so that is everything that I got from Primark from two different Primarks probably spent about 200 pounds in total maybe a little bit less but you know what I think I got some really great items here let me know which one's your favourite have you been to Primark yet let me know are you going to brave it are you going to do it let me know what you're doing and yeah if you like this kind of video please like subscribe leave me any comments down below share with all your friends and i'll see you in my next one bye